So reasons why you might want to try side curl is it builds strength in your forearms, in your triceps, and in your core. So let's get started. Hello, so today I'm going to take you through two advanced arm balances. We're going to start with side curl and then we're going to do a variation of side curl called Fallen Angel. So if you have a block, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too. But if you've got a block, you're going to start with your feet together and you're just going to place the block behind your feet and you're going to come up on your toes and put your heels on the block. Now, if you don't have a block, again, you're just going to stand up on your tippy toes. From here, you're going to start to bend your knees and sit backwards, sinking your weight into your heels while you're on the block helps, so you're not just balancing on your tippy toes. And then you're going to turn your torso over to the right side, bringing your hands down to the mat. You're going to want to have your arms shoulder width apart. If you don't know how to get to shoulder width, all you have to do is cross your hands over your elbows and you'll be at shoulder width. From here, you're going to place those hands shoulder width apart, remove the block, stand up on the toes, and you're going to open your palms really, really wide, like you're trying to claw the ground away, just like you would do in your regular crow. You're going to hug your knees in towards one another, holding the thighs together, squeezing them together will help find more balance here. You're going to look forward, not down, and you're going to lift up your legs together for a couple of seconds or bring it down, taking a breath, and then you're going to try the other side. From here, again, making sure that your hands are shoulder width apart, clawing the ground away, hugging the thighs in towards one another, and then you can really pull your core in tight. That deep transverse abdominal muscle here will really help you. So pull your belly button towards your spine, lift up onto your tippy toes, and then you're going to start to look forward, not down. And again, hug those thighs towards one another and lift it up. Once you feel comfortable in your side curl on either side, you can move into your fallen angel. So the way we're going to move into fallen angel is you're going to drop your shoulder, whichever side you're doing, and then now that you have your side curl, we're going to go directly into fallen angel. From your side curl, you're going to drop your shoulder and lift your legs up overhead, pulling your belly, remember, pull that belly button in towards your spine to move those legs up, engage your glutes so you can keep them high up. All right, so I'm going to go straight to side curl and then make my way to fallen angel. Slowly lift those legs up, nice and slow, engage that core, engage those glutes, and then bring that right leg back to the left, push up, sumo back through your side curl before coming up. 